Hi, in this video, we will see how to configure different types of IP or network cameras with the Satatya NVR. Before that, let's briefly know about Satatya NVR. Satatya NVR is an IP-based network video recorder that stores digital video streams from the IP cameras. NVR differs from a DVR as its input is from IP cameras rather than analog cameras as in case of DVRs. IP cameras are categorized in three different types in accordance to their configurations in Satatya NVR. 1. Branded IP Camera These are the cameras whose brand and model names are available in Satatya NVR database. 2. ONVIF Supported IP Camera ONVIF stands for Open Network Video Interface Forum, which defines a common protocol for exchange of information, like automatic device discovery, video streaming, and intelligence metadata between network video devices. Satatya NVR supports IP cameras with ONVIF version 2.0 and higher. 3. Generic IP Camera these cameras stream the video on a specific HTTP or RTSP URL, and these URLs are available with camera specifications. Now we shall see the configuration flow of aforesaid IP cameras with different network scenario. Scenario 1. IP camera and Satatya NVR in same local area network. In this case, we will understand the configuration flow of different branded, ONVIF, and generic IP cameras. To add IP camera in Satatya NVR, we need to follow the below mentioned steps. Step 1. Open Internet Explorer and enter the IP address of Satatya NVR to open Satatya NVR web client. Please note that the default IP address of LAN port 1 of Satatya NVR is 192.168.1.123. Step 2. Enter the login credentials and log in. The default username and password is admin. Default TCP port is 8000. Step 3. Open the device configuration and navigate to Camera Search under Camera Settings. Here, Satatya NVR searches all branded and ONVIF cameras connected within a network. Step 4. Click Search. Satatya NVR detects cameras and provides its supported parameters such as HTTP port number, brand name, model, and ONVIF details. Step 5. Click on Add symbol available in Add column to add detected cameras. This will open New Window, Add Camera. Step 6. Enter desired camera name and login credentials, such as username and password. Step 7. Click Save to save camera configurations. Camera will be added to the free channel index in Satatya NVR. Step 8. Click on Test button to get the information about features supported by camera, that is, motion detection, view tampering, live view, PTZ, audio of camera. Step 10. Navigate to Camera in Camera Settings. Here, all details of added camera will be displayed. Please note, in case of generic camera, user has to enter the brand as generic. Select models as per the streaming supported by camera, that is, RTSP TCP, RTSP UDP, and HTTP. Specify streaming URL of the generic IP camera in URL field. All the generic IP cameras are having their specific streaming RTSP and HTTP URLs. For example, if the camera is having RTSP streaming URL RTSP 192.168.51.186 slash CH2, then user needs to enter slash CH2 in the URL field. 
In case of local network, all parameters will be automatically configured after adding the IP camera and displayed in camera configuration page. If IP camera and Satutia NVR are behind the NAT, user has to enable connect through router option and specify parameters such as router address, forwarded HTTP and RTSP port. Step 12. Navigate to Stream for Stream Settings. Step 13. Select Camera Channel. Step 14. Click Pick, Select Video Encoding, Resolution, Frame Rate, and Quality Parameters from the available list. User can set stream parameters for main and substream individually. Click Pick, Select Video Encoding, Resolution, Frame Rate, and quality parameters from the available list. Click Save to save configurations. Step 15. To view live video stream, navigate to home page and double click on the camera channel number. This will show you the live video stream. I hope now it's clear how to configure different types of IP cameras with Satutia NVR in local network. Scenario 2. Satutia NVR is behind NAT at main location and IP cameras are also behind NAT at remote location. In this case, HTTP and RTSP port should be forwarded to the local IP address of IP camera in the router of the remote location. For instance, 192.168.50.1 is local IP address of IP camera and HTTP and RTSP port are 80 and 554 respectively. Here, 115.118.161.163 is a WAN IP address of router at remote location. In the router of remote location, we need to forward HTTP port, that is 80, and RTSP port, that is 554, to the IP camera's local IP address that is 192.168.50.1. On the NVR at main location, enable Connect Through Router flag and specify the remote location's router WAN IP address, that is 115.118.161.163 in the Router Address field of the Camera Settings page. Now enter the forwarded RTSP 554 and HTTP 80 port of the camera. Save the parameters. Please note, if IP camera is streaming on TCP port, then there is no need to do port forwarding for HTTP and RTSP port in the router of main location. In case of camera is streaming on UDP port, user need to do port forwarding for HTTP and UDP port to the IP address of NVR in the router of main location. To view video stream, navigate to home page and double click on the camera channel. This will show you the live video stream. Scenario 3 Satutia NVR is on static or public IP and IP cameras are behind the NAT at remote location. In this case, HTTP and RTSP port should be forwarded to the local IP address of IP camera in the router of the remote location. On the NVR side, user needs to specify the router's public IP or WAN port IP in the camera settings page. Specify the forwarded RTSP and HTTP port of the IP camera. Save the parameters to view live video stream, navigate to home page. Double click on the camera channel. Scenario 4 Satutia NVR is behind NAT at main location and IP cameras on the public IP or static IP. In this kind of scenario, we need to specify the public IP of the IP camera in the NVR camera configuration. If IP camera is streaming on RTSP port, then there is no need to do port forwarding for HTTP and RTSP port in the router of main location. In case of camera is streaming on UDP port, 
the user need to do port forwarding for HTTP and UDP port to the IP address of NVR in the router of main location. So friends, I am sure by now you are clear how to add IP camera in Satutya NVR. Thanks for watching this video. For any further queries, feel free to contact Matrix Technical Support Team.